So far this January has been the coldest since 2018 and it is only going to get colder. Meteorologist Chris Michaels explains what the polar vortex is and why it's responsible for another blast of Arctic air heading our way. Polar vortex, one of those buzzwords that came onto the scene about a decade ago. Thing is, it's nothing new. It's not something that hits you, but pieces of it can break off and deliver some big time cold into parts of the U.S. Here's what it is. It's this pretty much permanent area of low pressure that's in the stratosphere and over the Arctic. So the stratosphere being the layer of the atmosphere that's above us. And you might be asking, okay, well, then why do we even care about that? Well, if the polar vortex is stable, then the wind around it is keeping it locked in the Arctic and we really don't feel any effects from it. However, it's a little unstable. The wind is weaker in the Arctic. It allows that colder air to really start pouring down into the eastern U.S. And there's some signals of that happening as we head into the early and middle part of next week. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center with NOAA showing that there's a very high likelihood of below average temperatures between January 19th and 23rd. So that would take us through much of next week. Does that mean snow? We're going through some of the possibilities and scenarios right now on WRAL.com.